This is a guarding list. Every terrorist has his own shift. In this room, he says, a guard list that begins October 7th. This CNN report featuring an Israeli army spokesperson saying that this piece of paper on the wall is a Hamas guard list has been quickly and brutally debunked by Arabic speakers on social media. Here's that same list translated into English. The writing is simply the days of the week since the 7th of October attacks happened, as marked out at the top. This was so quick and easy to debunk, I wonder why they bothered. Well, it's already gone out on CNN and remains on their website and social platforms without any scrutiny from the reporter. Were there no Arabic speakers on the CNN team? Did the reporter not question what the IDF was telling him? Well, maybe they did, but as we know from an earlier report, their reportage is being screened by the IDF before broadcast. As a condition to enter Gaza under IDF escort, outlets have to submit all materials and footage to the Israeli military for review prior to publication. CNN has agreed to these terms in order to provide a limited window into Israel's operations in Gaza. The IDF also claimed to have found a small cache of weapons and a laptop. I don't know who it belonged to. However, this original footage of the raid was later deleted by the IDF and the laptop blurred. But why? Investigators on Twitter found the home screen of the laptop had a picture of a female IDF soldier on it. Strange. So, no evidence of tunnels and no evidence of a Hamas command center under Shifa hospital. Yes, some guns were found and investigators will pour over the footage to determine whether or not these are genuine Hamas items. But given the Israeli army has already appeared to falsify evidence, why should anyone believe them? What is already abundantly clear is that the Israeli military has invaded Gaza's largest hospital, putting thousands of lives at risk, killing medical staff, and newborn babies on life support in the process. But we'll leave it to the ICC and other international investigators to determine the severity of this war crime.